folks, Ariel over here at Finest, with a little look inside the beehive. Now this, I actually filmed, um, I believe eight days after I had transferred the frames from uh, the nuke box into their new hive. But I never got around to putting this together till now. So you're seeing it now, but they'd only had eight days to work on these frames. So I thought you might enjoy, like I did seeing what's going on in here. This frame I'm holding up right now had wax foundation on it. And you can see up there in the left hand corner, how they're starting to draw that out they're working across the whole sheet, but they've really drawn it out and made the cells um, deeper on that side. And as I go through here, I tried to get a real good look at all the different sides of the frame. And I did not manage to spot the queen at any point in here. I'm sure she's in there because there's active and you know, since then there's still been active uh, eggs and new brood hatching and so on, but I didn't manage to spot her. So if y anybody can through the course of this video, you get the prize. On this side, they've actually drawn out a lot of that frame. You can kind of see how the, the little cells in the individual honeycomb are getting deeper, but it was fascinating to see how much work they have done in, you know, just a few days when for most of those days, the weather was pretty crummy for, um, you know, bees working on anything. It was windy and cold and snowing. Um, this is another one of the new frames that they had to work on. And here again, you can see they've done a lot of work to, to build out those, uh, the comb on both sides into nice deep cells ready to fill with honey, pollen, um, new baby bees, whatever they want to do. I, I just found it absolutely amazing how much wax comb building they had done in just a couple days with not very hospitable weather at all. <music> Now this is one of the original frames that was modified to fit in here and in that top right hand corner you can see some of that shiny stuff that is nectar that they were filling in there that's not fully cured into honey yet and therefore it's not sealed and in the center you can see um, some sort of stored pollen those kind of solid looking ones of various colors and then some capped brood right in in the very middle as well. This frame has a lot more capped brood, um, all those kind of raised bump looking cells that are covered and 
if I could hold it still enough, it was really hard for me to see what the camera was actually picking up out there because it was so bright and sunshiny. It's a little hard to look through the, one of those bee veils, but there was active brood hatching. And again, around kind of the edges and corners, you can see some of the shiny nectar being turned into honey. You'll also notice that all down the left-hand side there between the, the adapter frame and the frame they were building in, they've filled that all in with comb. They decided they didn't want any little gap there to go through apparently, so they sealed that all up. Here's another one where you can see some capped brood as well as some pollen stores in the center and where they built a little bit of extra comb kind of off there on the left hand edge. I guess they wanted to fill that gap a bit. Um, that might have even still been there from when it was in the, uh, the nuke box before it went into the hive um, here at our place. But again, it's just amazing to me the amount of work they had got accomplished in just a few days.
there's another frame with a tonic capped brood in the middle. I, if I was guessing, would guess that the queen was most likely somewhere on here, but I was not successful in spotting her. But once again, there are lots of newbies uh, growing and maturing and hatching out.
This frame as well is just loaded. The queen could easily be hiding in there without me seeing her. Um, the little green thing, if you're going to spot that in the center, is the remains of the queen cell that she was in when she was placed into the nuke. I've just not bothered to try to pry it out of the wax and disturb them. But you can see from the dark color of that wax that this has been uh, used for various things, but probably mostly for storing brood for quite a long time. Over uh, time, the wax just darkens up more with age and gets to be that really dark color as opposed to the, the very, very light, pale, waxy looking color that you can see back on those first frames where they're just creating brand new wax. And again, you can see a little bit of the extras they had built off the sides there. Again, I think most of that had happened um, in their nucleus box before I even got them here. And again, in some of the empty cells that don't have brood in them any longer, you can see they're starting to fill some of the edges wherever you can see them under the thick uh, layer of bees, starting to fill some of those edges with new nectar to turn into honey as well. <laughs>
one last brand new frame that they're working on. Again, they're drawing out the brand new wax and you can see how light and bright it is. Up there toward the top, they've done a lot more work, kind of under all the places you can see them. They've built that out a lot more than the parts of the rest of this frame so far. And um, here in a second, you'll be able to see kind of in the the upper center on the other side where they have drawn it out really um, fully and maybe even made that to be a, a place for some drone comb because it seems like they've enlarged the cells a little bit compared to everything else and made them extra big. But that was that for this inspection. I was pretty much checking on the hive for the sake of my benefit and education and observation, not really uh, for the sake of the bees for anything, but it was good to see them doing well. And since it's been almost a month since I filmed this, um, I will in the near future, if I have time, try to uh, do a, a film like this again when I check on them and show you just how much more work they have done since. But if you find things like colonies of bees fascinating like I do, I thought you might enjoy seeing this. There you can see what I was talking about, how fully drawn out and enlarged that one chunk of comb is up there, kind of in the top center. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy all the insects around you and have a lovely day. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.